Do you know what it takes to be a Hall of Famer in the NFL? Most would say it's a combination of talent, hard work, and dedication. But what if I told you that all of those things weren't enough to get you inducted? Today, we're going to talk about a player who was snubbed from the Hall of Fame for years, despite having stats that would make even the greatest linebackers in NFL history look twice. This guy had 1,734 career tackles, five first-team All-Pro selections, and seven Pro Bowl appearances. If you're a football fan, those stats should be making your jaw drop right about now. But here's the kicker. This guy had to wait years to get his Hall of Fame induction. Can you believe that? So who are we talking about? None other than the legendary Zach Thomas. Buckle up, sports fans, because we're about to dive into some fun facts, crazy stats, and amazing highlights of one of the greatest linebackers in NFL history and the absurdity of his long overdue Hall of Fame induction. Zach Thomas had a remarkable career in the NFL, playing for 13 seasons, 12 of which were with the Miami Dolphins. He is widely considered one of the greatest linebackers in NFL history, and for good reason. When it comes to the greatest linebackers in NFL history, Zach Thomas's name is right up there with the best of them. His stats are simply staggering. With 1,734 career tackles that rank him fifth in NFL history, since records began in 1987. To put that in perspective, only Ray Lewis, Junior Seau, London Fletcher, and Donnie Edwards have more tackles than Thomas. That's pretty elite company, folks. Thomas's accomplishments don't stop there, though. He was selected to the Pro Bowl seven times, which is more than some of the other great linebackers of this era, such as Brian Urlacher and Derek Brooks. He was also named First Team All-Pro five times, a recognition that puts him in the same category as other legendary linebackers like Ray Lewis and Lawrence Taylor. He was even awarded the 1996 AFC Defensive Rookie of the Year Award, a testament to his outstanding performance in his debut season. Perhaps most impressive, however, is his role in leading the Miami Dolphins defense during a remarkable seven-year stretch from 1998 to 2004, during which the team finished in top 10 in total defense each season. Thomas was a major reason for this success, and his dominance as a middle linebacker during this time period cemented his place among the all time greats. Despite all of these achievements, however, it's truly baffling that it took so long for Thomas to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. How can a player with stats that stack up against some of the best linebackers in NFL history have to wait so long for recognition? It's a question that many football fans have asked, and it's a testament to just how underrated Thomas was for so many years. In short, Zach Thomas was a defensive juggernaut whose performance on the field was so outstanding. It was as if he had rocket boots on. His accolades are a testament to his unparalleled dominance in the game of football, and it's not surprising that he's now a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The only thing that's surprising is that it took so long for the Hall of Fame voters to recognize the force that was Zach Thomas. Now, Zach Thomas. How Zach yeah. Thomas yeah. got in the Hall of Fame? Put his mm -hmm. stats up with mine, Ray, any other linebacker who's even close to Hall of Fame or been in the Hall of Fame. He's right there with us, if not better. Why is this? But hey, better late than never, right? Now that we've established just how good Zach Thomas was, let's take a closer look at how he stacks up against some of the other great linebackers of his time, specifically Ray Lewis and Brian Urlacher. Ray Lewis is often considered one of the best linebackers of all time. He played for the Baltimore Ravens for 17 seasons and won two Defensive Player of the Year awards. He was selected to 13 Pro Bowls and was a first-team All-Pro seven times. Similarly, Brian Urlacher played for the Chicago Bears for 13 seasons. He won the Defensive Player of the Year award in 2005 and was selected to eight Pro Bowls. He was a first-team All-Pro selection four times. But how do these guys compare with Zach Thomas? Well, as we mentioned earlier, Thomas was selected to the Pro Bowl seven times, which is more than Urlacher. He was also a first-team All-Pro selection five times, which is equal to Urlacher. Moreover, Thomas led the NFL in tackles twice and led the Dolphins in tackles ten times. In comparison, Lewis led the NFL in tackles once and Urlacher never led the league in tackles. So we can see that Thomas's stats are right up there with the best of them. He compares favorably with Ray Lewis and Brian Urlacher, who were both first ballot Hall of Famers. And yet it took years for Thomas to finally get his Hall of Fame induction. But why did it take so long? Why is he not anything? I don't, he maybe because he's 5'10". I don't know. Honestly? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't get it. 
It just pisses me off. It's a question time. that has puzzled many football fans. Why did it take so long for Zach Thomas to receive the recognition he deserved from the Pro Football Hall of Fame? And guys who never played the game vote. Put the media votes on? I don't. I want something that my teammates voted on or my peers voted on. With career stats that rank him among the best linebackers in NFL history and an impressive list of accolades, it seems strange that it took until 2023 for him to be inducted. Perhaps part of the reason is the high standards that are required for induction into the Hall of Fame. While Thomas's stats and accomplishments are impressive, he played in an era that saw an abundance of talented linebackers, making it harder for him to stand out. It could be argued that he was competing with some of the best of all time, such as Ray Lewis and Brian Urlacher, which made it even harder for him to receive the recognition he deserved. Another possible reason for the delay is that Thomas was a fifth round draft pick. The perception of being a lower draft pick could have followed him throughout his career, making it harder for him to receive recognition, even as he racked up the tackles and awards. In 2023, Zach Thomas was finally inducted into the Hall of Fame after a delay that remains unexplained. The way oh. you're big on trying to get Zach Thomas in. I shouldn't have to get Zach Thomas in. He should be in the f***ing Hall of Fame already. He should have been in five years ago. He was a standout linebacker during his career and left an undeniable impact on the game of football. The emotional surprise he received from his former coach, Jimmy Johnson, who greeted him at the top of the stairs wearing his gold jacket, made the moment even more special. Welcome to Pro Football Hall of Fame Class of 2023. With his induction into the Hall of Fame, it's clear that Thomas's place is among the all-time greats of the NFL, and it's time to celebrate his achievements.